the new year, my family decided that we try RVing for the very first time. Um, we've never done this before, so it's definitely going to be a new experience. We're going around South Australia um, with some of my cousins. Uh, we've already been here for like four days, but honestly, it's just been a lot of driving. But we're finally going to our first proper location, which is uh, Streaky Bay. They have a lot of really nice beaches there, so I'm really excited for, um, to see it. But we still do have a bit of driving to do, and we are traveling in this RV. It's pretty big. I'll have to give you guys a tour soon. So the drive to Streaky Bay is about like an hour and a half, so we've still got a bit of driving to do. Um, it's supposed to have some really nice beaches there. I'm hoping that it's really nice. Um, and I'm also hoping that the weather clears up because it's looking like a little bit, I don't know if you can see, but it's a bit cloudy at the moment and it's very windy when we stepped outside last. But pretty excited to go there. Okay, so I'm currently sitting in the driver's seat um, and we're waiting for some maintenance because our car will not start. Something to do with the ad blue, um, some like thing you put in the car and we think like the sensor's broken, I don't know. But um, we can't start the car, so we're stuck in this small like um, little like country town. I don't even know what it is, but there's like two stores here. It's so boring, there's like nothing to do. And um, it sounds like we might be stuck here for a while and I really hope that we can continue with our trip. Getting a bit worried. <laughs> So the mechanic came and managed to get the car started again. So we're back on the road and we're just really hoping that it doesn't happen again. Okay, so we just arrived at Streaky Bay um, and it's definitely pretty windy. Um, we had a look at the beach and it looks so nice. So I can't wait to go there when the sky finally decides to clear up. So I just thought while we're waiting for the weather to get a little bit better, I can give you guys a tour of the RV. So let's go inside. So this is what you see as soon as you enter the RV. Go. It's not super spacious, but I'll give you guys a little tour. So at the front here, we've got the driver's seat. This is where my mum and dad sit while we're driving. Um, and right above that is James's bed. He like claimed that straight away <laughs> as soon as we got in the RV. And I'm a little bit jealous because it does look pretty cozy up there. It's a little bit messy because I've got all my bedding up there since I sleep on the dining, not actually on the, not actually on the dining table, but it folds out into a nice bed. Um, but at the moment it's set up as the dining table and this is actually where James and I sit while we're driving. And right above that I've actually put all my clothes and stuff in here, as you can see. A little bit messy, but oh well, it will do. Um, in the corner here there's a TV. We haven't actually used it yet, but it's pretty cool, we've got a TV. Um, right across from that we have the kitchen. There's a sink here, um, it's got like a cover on it at the moment. And then just like some cupboards, I think we've just got some plates and cups in here. Um, got our little charging station there, an oven. <laughs> Mum and Dad brought the coffee machine because they cannot live without coffee. Um, so they want to make sure that they've definitely got that. Um, right here is the my mum and dad's bed where they sleep. Uh, as you can see, we brought our own pillows, which I'm pretty happy about. They just put all their clothes up in these um, cupboards there. Here is the freezer. Just got some meat and stuff in there at the moment. And then we've got the fridge right below that, which is pretty stocked up. Um, yeah, and then like right here we've got the cupboard and we've just got some little things here we put all like the junk food in there we definitely visit that um cupboard a lot <laughs> and then right below that we've got all the water bottles because we need some fresh water there's so many in here and then we have our ginormous bathroom <laughs> not really but it's pretty good we've got the toilet there shower right above it sink here and then just like a little cupboard with a mirror there um, so yeah, it's obviously not a huge bathroom, but honestly just grateful to have a bathroom. So that is the RV. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's supposed to fit six people, this RV. Um, and we're only four people and we still find it pretty tight. So thank goodness we're not six people, but it's pretty good. Um, never, like I said, never gone RVing before. So it's pretty exciting new experience. Um, but now I think maybe I'll go down to the beach. I can show you guys the view. It looks so pretty. Even though the weather's not amazing. So let's go there now. So I'm down at the beach now and it looks so pretty. There's like some islands around here as well. This really big island 
over there. It's got like a little sand patch so you can actually walk across to it. I would like to do that. I'm definitely not going to be going to the weather is not the best. It's a bit windy and it feels a little bit fresh, so maybe I'll have to do that tomorrow or something instead if it clears up a bit. But it does look really nice. Like the view's really pretty. The water definitely looks nice. anything yet. Might be starving for dinner tonight. We might have to go out somewhere instead. It's not really much luck so my cousins are too. So guys it doesn't really look like I'm gonna be catching much today except for uh, seaweed so I think I might have to take another day and see if I'll have any more luck. Just walking back from the beach now um, and it's getting close to dinner time but before we have dinner I just want to quickly have a shower. I'm going to have to have a shower in the RV so that's going to be pretty interesting to see how that turns out seeing as it's so small but hopefully it's alright. So this is what the shower looks like. Um, as you can see very small. Um, not sure how it's going to go having a shower in there but hopefully it's alright. So I just had my shower, um, not gonna lie, it was a pretty bad shower, it's pretty tight in there, so it's a little bit difficult, but anyway, um, we're making dinner now, well my parents are making dinner, we're having tacos tonight, it's definitely a little bit challenging making it in here, seeing it's so small, this kitchen, um, but we're making it for our cousins, so um, it should be very nice, but I'm very hungry now. So here's my taco. It looks very yummy, but it's just very messy as well. I'm so hungry. Come on. So we're on our way to Lake McDonald now, also known as the Pink Lake. Um, I'm in my cousin's van at the moment. Um, never seen a pink lake before, so I'm so excited to see how it looks. So we've arrived at the Pink Lake. Uh, I hope you can hear me well. Um, it's really windy here, but how cool does this look? It's so pink. now and of course today the weather is really nice but we're actually leaving Streaky Bay today so I'm so annoyed since we didn't get to swim in this lovely beach but hopefully that some other beaches that we go to will be nicer and we can swim there. Alright so we've left Streaky Bay now and we're currently at Second Valley where they have a beautiful beach and thank goodness the weather is really nice today. It is so warm outside so we're definitely going to head down to the beach, go for a little bit of a swim and hopefully I can tan a bit as well. But before we go down I just want to quickly show you guys our sleeping arrangements because I'm showing you my bed all set up. So this is usually like the little dining area um, and it's folded out into a bed. It looks pretty cool um, and it's actually not too it's actually not too bad it's pretty comfortable and then up here is James's bed it's a little bit messy at the moment but this is where he sleeps and then right across from that we have my mum and dad's bed where they sleep so not too bad but I'm gonna head down to the beach now but first I'm gonna put on so much sunscreen because I got really burnt the other day <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm at Second Valley Beach now and it looks so beautiful here. There's like a lot of rocks here, so I kind of got to watch where I'm stepping, but I think I'm going to go in the water now because it looks so clear. Okay, we're going in the water now and there are so many rocks here. So we're being really careful where we're stepping. The water's a bit cold. <laughs> The rocks are really slippery too, so you can't really stand on them. But it looks really pretty. Okay, I might go for a little bit of a swim, explore. Like, it's so huge in this beach. Like, there's some more rock over there. So we might sort of walk around and explore some of these little sites and stuff. And I also need to get used to this really cold water. Okay, so... Um, we've kind of walked a little bit further into the water now and we've got our snorkels and we're going to try and go snorkeling and see if we can see any cute fish. I haven't really snorkeled in a while so I'm probably going to not know how to breathe properly through it. It's too cold! It's so cold. Okay, so it took me a little while to get the hang of snorkeling, but once I did, it was so cool. There's so many really pretty fish down there. I wish I had the GoPro with me so I could show you guys, but it's so pretty. I actually think I might do some more now. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just went for a little walk um, around the beach and how pretty are these views? It's so stunning, the water looks so pretty. So we're just walking back from the beach now and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I suddenly started to not feel so great um, while we're there. So I'm coming back now and I think I'm going to just quickly do one of those rapid tests just to make sure I don't have anything. Um, hopefully it comes up negative. <laughs> All right guys, got my test. Um, I'm just gonna quickly do it now and I am praying that it comes up negative. Well, um, my test just came up positive, was not expecting that. I managed to get away with not having COVID for like two years, but unfortunately it's caught up with me. I'm really hoping my symptoms don't get too bad. But um, we're just gonna make sure we spend the rest of the day in the RV and we're going home tomorrow anyway, so I'm glad it didn't happen earlier on in the trip. But I hope you guys enjoyed my RV trip, or well, my first RV trip. Um, bit of an unfortunate end, but oh well. Make sure you guys stay safe and I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.